Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey Worship Book. The service follows the form of morning prayers which the community uses on Iona. So there are different prayers and psalms each day of the week and each month a cycle of prayers for the world, different communities and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you're invited to join in the responses. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. The world belongs to God, the, the earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful, to live together in unity. Love and faith come together, justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God, and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. Give us life. 
Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we wound our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Response of Faith With the whole church, we, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere, we affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God, forever at work in ourselves and the world. Hurry God and save me, come quickly, come to my aid. Confuse the devious plans of those who want to hurt me. Let those intent on harming me be dishonoured and exposed. Let those who jeer and gloat be shamed into silence. Sustain all those who seek you, fill them with joy and gladness. Let those who long for your help cry, glory, glory to God. Meanwhile, remember me, God. I need to know you are there. Hurry to help and save me, for you are my only deliverer. God, do not delay. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the Word and Wisdom of God. The reading is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 to 9, entitled Praise to God for a Living Hope. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you, who through faith are shielded by God's power, power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of faith, 
of greater worth than gold which perishes, even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory and honour when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, thanks be to God. Pour out, I will pour out my spirit, and shall be much more than it seems. Both sons and daughters shall prophesy, young and old shall dream dreams. Pour out, I will pour out my spirit, and shall be much more than it seems. Both sons and daughters shall prophesy, young and old shall dream dreams. Pour out, I will pour out my spirit, and shall be much more than it seems. Both sons and daughters shall prophesy, young and old shall dream dreams. Pour out, I will pour out my spirit, and shall be much more than it seems. Both sons and daughters shall prophesy, young and Dreams. Ever present God, everything is still in your hands. By the spirit of prophecy, you have awakened our soul to expectancy. So let your resurrection light radiate all our worship by the power of your Holy Spirit. Help us to know ourselves as people who have been made new. By that same power, inspire us to walk even as you walked. That going on our way in faith and gladness, we may come at last to the things which I have not seen nor ear heard, but which you have prepared for all of them that truly love you from the beginning of the world. Amen. On the 30th day, we pray for the Iona community in North America. And we pray for the following countries, the lands and their peoples. Chad, Djibouti, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Somalia, South Sudan and Sudan. And we pray for members belonging to the family groups of Australia and Eotorea, New Zealand. Patrick King and Sarah with Alexander. Hilary Oxford-Smith and Clive, Helen Weavers, and for members belonging to the family group of North America, Norma Barr, Mike Brown, Mark Burrows and Ute Molita, Michael Caldwell and Patience Whitman, Jimmy Calhoun and Julian Calhoun, John Dillon and Louise, Doug Dunlap, Ross McKenzie, Sarah Lee Morris, Israel Nelson, Bertrand Olivier and Paul Keherley, Charles Simonson and Leslie Simonson, Stacy Smith, Benjamin Sparks and Annette, Paul Sullivan and Anna Tumlow. We pray for associate members in the USA, Mid-Atlantic.
Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. God, in whose heart is love and justice, show us this day whom we must love and what we should challenge or change, in order that your will for the earth might be done. Increase our hope, dispel our apathy, inspire our imagination, and deepen our commitment, until we become the signs of your kingdom, for which we and others pray. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that cost us nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue, pursue it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God, God in community, holy and one.